One way to close the opportunity gap in Boston is to help more people start up their own business as food entrepreneurs. That's the goal of Commonwealth Kitchen, a community of entrepreneurs and incubators based in Dorchester. Joining us are two of the program's entrepreneurs, the founder and CEO of Fresh Zen, Ruby Chen, and the founder of, and CEO of Sweet Tea's Bakery, Teresa Maynard. Uh, thank you both for being with us. Thank you for having Thanks us. For having us. Now, uh, both of you, you had uh, a before life in some other fields. And I, I want to start with, with Ruby, because it, it, you have one background that is related to food, but you have another background that really wasn't, I guess. Absolutely not, because I wanted to go and run away from it as fast as I could. Um, so my career really started in the world of marketing. I've worked for very large companies like Gillette and Staples and Citizens Bank, just doing marketing and advertising. And um, I just felt like it wasn't really giving me everything I needed um, and to be able to fulfill my passion. And so that's why I left that world and reached back into my roots of food. Uh, I grew up in the world of um, Chinatown, New York City, and um, we were surrounded by fresh food every single day. I mean, mainly because our refrigerator in New York City apartments were so tiny and food was just so available. Fresh fruits and vegetables and fish were just like right downstairs. And I felt like I needed to reach back there and be able to teach people to eat healthy and eat well. Trisha, what about you? Your background was in data, working at Harvard. I mean, why did you make this transition? <laughs> so I was at Harvard doing data analytics um, in their development department. It was super interesting. But when I was pregnant with my third child, I was in search of a cupcake like a crazy person. And I have a nut allergy, so I couldn't find a bakery that I could just get a cupcake from that was safe for me to eat. So I'd bring my cupcakes to work with me. Like, anybody want a cupcake? And I deemed it three o'clock snack around three o'clock you kind of want a snack um, and after I had the baby I still love baking and I finally said to my husband I said I think I want to open a bakery and he said who leaves Harvard and opens a bakery and I said I do and my husband turned to me and said you have one year Teresa and after that you're going back to work and so I jumped out of corporate January 2016 launched um, Sweet Tea's Bakery November 2016 and we've been going well ever since. Now you say bakery <laughs> is this an actual commercial space we're talking about or are you just distributing something that you're making? I'm based out of Commonwealth Kitchen so I launched out of Commonwealth Kitchen I went in making 24 cupcakes at a time now I make like 240 cupcakes at a time um, so we do three different things. We have some wholesale accounts. Uh, we had done a run with Whole Foods where we did 48,000 mini pies for them. We do corporate catering um, where we do custom cupcakes and stuff for um, people and we do direct to customers. So birthday cakes and things like that. Ruby, you know, you, you mentioned uh, fresh fruit in Chinatown. We, we, we can see that in the sidewalks here in Boston, too. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, we say Chinese takeout. It, it's almost like a stereotype. And you wanted to do something different from yeah, the stereotype. Yeah, I wanted to really take an innovative twist on what was very traditional. Um, and so, you know, our, our foods actually are really healthy. You know, when you think about takeout, you're thinking about all this MSG and all these oils and, and fats, and really, it's not like that. And so what I created with um, was a ginger and scallion sauce that we ate at our own family table. I mean, it's the same way you would see sriracha, you know, at a Vietnamese restaurant. This is a ginger and scallion sauce that you would put on everything, chicken and fish and steak. And I really started that mainly because I was a working mom of four kids. And the hardest thing for me every night was to come home and make a dinner that was healthy for my kids. And so I reached back to my roots of the restaurant days. And I remember those days where people would come in and say, hey, can I get some of that sauce that you serve with the dumplings, that ginger and scallion sauce. And my dad would say, Ruby, just get back to work. Stop talking to all these people. And I would go back to the counter and say, $10, please. And it made me realize that there was a need for fresh herbs that were just all chopped up and you know put into a little container. And so I just, I'm using all of our family recipes and jarring them now. So which came first? Uh the sauce or, or this commitment to take the plunge into being an entrepreneur? Oh, gosh. It, it, was, it was mainly the fact that I wanted to. It was not necessarily about the sauce, but it was about giving families a product that they can use that was healthy for 
the nighttime circus. I felt like every single day coming home, there was a family circus that was taking place. I would really try as fast as I could to put a healthy dinner on the table. And um, I started making all these sauces that I put in my back in my refrigerator and slapped them onto fish and chicken. And so it was the passion of being able to bring back family time, because I knew that in our own family, it was really, you know, like, kids learned about eating healthy at home. Teresa, food is chemistry, and, and what about the chemistry at, at Commonwealth Kitchen when you were there, and, and along with Ruby? So like? we met at Commonwealth Kitchen because we had both jumped out of corporate around the same time. Um, this friendship, which I just like appreciate Ruby so much. So the entrepreneurial journey is so crazy. And, you know, we have cooked together, we have cried together, yes, and we've times. grown our businesses together. And really at Commonwealth Kitchen, it's like they, they are the water cooler of people that you have to talk to because entrepreneurship is lonely. We have 50 different companies that work out of there and we all live really well together. Yes. We help each other even though we're not, our, our products are so different, but we bounce ideals off of each other. If I need a label, hey, this is who I order labels from. So we really are a community and we function like a family. Right. And it, it's a struggle. It's a yeah. struggle being an entrepreneur because you really don't know where to begin you know, to take a product that you have in your head to, you know, being on the shelves of Whole Foods. There are so many steps in between from product development to getting your labels done to going through um, the state department and to get everything certified. It's a hard, it's a hard road ahead. And to be able to have that support of each other is really nice. Oh, yeah. 100%. Finally, we should mention if people like to find out more about what you're up to and how that develops. Tracy, you have something on social media maybe? Um, we're at Sweet Teas Bakery. You can find us on Instagram or our website, which is sweetteasbakery.com. Yeah. And Ruby, what about yeah, you? Yeah, we're big believers in social media, and um, we're on Instagram at freshzenfoods.com, and um, our website is www.freshzen.com. And Ruby's in Whole Foods right now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for mentioning that. 31 Whole Foods uh, starting this month, and we're really, really excited about that. Uh, the closest one probably to the Boston area is Ink Block. Yeah. Great. Thank you both very much, Ruby Chan and Teresa Maynard.